to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. This is a two week grocery haul. I did a meal plan and um, a shopping list and I went and did Walmart pickup. Usually, I've only done this like a couple of times and y'all, I am just not a huge fan of it. <laughs> I know everybody loves this and it's so great. Like it always sounds good to me, but oh, they had five things out of stock. And um, a lot of my stuff is like wrong, damaged, I don't know. So I'm not sure I'll do it again. Uh, I'll probably just go to the store. I have no idea. And yeah, but I'll let you guys know what happened. So this is about $200 worth of groceries along with about $15 of uh, household items. I got some hair stuff. And yeah, without further ado, let me show you what I got. So it definitely takes up a good majority over here. It is a lot of stuff. It was under $200 because of all of the stuff that was missing. I know for sure it's under $200 because it was about $208 or $211 before the five things. So let me just take you through and I'll let you guys know what I got and what I'm planning. So first off, we have two loaves of bread, no big deal. Um, sandwiches, lunch, all that fun stuff. Um, basically for my husband to take to work and my son. Uh, this is the hair stuff I use. I love this. If you have tangly hair, anything like that, it says it's comparable to Miracle 10, which I used for like 10 years. And yes, it is definitely comparable. It is pretty much the exact same. In fact, if you look at the ingredients on both of them, they're the exact same. So just putting that out there and I love it if you have thick hair, if you just want something to help you be able to brush your hair or help it have like a sheen or um, things like that, no frizz, this is your stuff. Uh, this is the shampoo that me and my husband use. I try to go um, more of what both of us will use and I found this as like a really good compromise. We both really like the tea tree um, kind of shampoo because we have more of like an oily scalp and in fact if I could wash my hair every day and I knew it wasn't bad for me I probably would. So you know. On to the food. Uh, four Lunchables for my son just as a fun little thing because I asked him what do you want for lunches. His first reply was Lunchables. We homeschool. I have no idea but thought that was fun. These are just some fun snacks to get, so I kind of stocked up a little bit. He had Fruit by the Foot for the first time the other night, and I will link our vlog channel down below, and he really liked it. So I got kind of a big pack of those, and also he tried Gushers for the first time, and me and Anthony love these, so these are just kind of nostalgic. Bigger packs, but just kind of that fun, just Friday night snacks. Um, he's also been liking these Wave Original chips. Kind of comparable to Ruffles, but not really. Uh, they're really good and they're really cheap. They're like $1.50 for that huge bag. Got two things of hot dog buns because if you have not watched my last Costco haul, I'll link that up here as well. But I got a big thing of hot dogs. Didn't really have any hot dog buns. So I bought some the other night and then I realized, hey, I should get some and put them in the freezer. So one I'll leave out, one I'll put in the freezer. Uh, this is more of my fresh stuff. I got three English cucumbers. We just kind of more snack on these and then um, for salads as well. Uh, bananas back there. This is the kind of milk that we like. It is actually like a filtered lactose free milk and some ads got me, I decided to try it, and my guys have a really hard time with dairy in general, cheese and milk, and so they tried this, didn't hurt their bellies, been buying it ever since. For real, it's only been like a week, but hey, I love it, I'm really excited about that. Got some carrots, gonna make a cauliflower soup, and um, just to have on hand, as well got some zucchini one of these is for like a casserole meal and then one of them is just for like a side dish I actually got two peppers and this is one of the things that was wrong my pepper is like black so I don't know about that pepper and then this pepper is supposed to be a red pepper which it looks really nice over here and then it looks really green over here 
So I'm not sure about these peppers. I I don't know if I'm gonna call and, I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what. Cauliflower for the cauliflower soup. Uh, this feta cheese is actually for a casserole. They interestingly enough gave me the bigger one. This is 12 ounces. I usually only get the six ounce one. They must have just grabbed the wrong one and I usually get a different kind. So this is the more expensive brand but they substituted it and I knew about the substitution but the ounces um, I know for sure that's wrong. Got some heavy whipping cream just for um, a little bit for the soup but mostly for, um, I usually have this dessert every once in a while where I cut up some strawberries. I got strawberries over there and I make my own whipped cream and we have that. Everybody loves it. It's so easy. I love it too. Got some crescent rolls. No big deal. Got two of those. One is for a casserole. The other one is just to have uh, romaine lettuce back here. That looks pretty good. The only other weird thing is, I don't know if this happens to you guys too but like my vegetables just came like this they weren't in like the plastic bags and I understand environmentally and everything so these ones I wouldn't have minded but they put like my parsley just out like this and it's like wet and they put it just in a I don't know I didn't like that it was wet in one of those plastic bags and touching all my other stuff I just thought that was kind of weird I don't know but this parsley is actually for, um, I'm going to make lasagna, and it's for something else I can't even remember. Um, got some tomatoes because with the soup I'm going to make um, bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes, or BLTs. And so got these. I actually thought that I got two packs of these, but I might have been wrong. But they're just vine-ripened tomatoes. Got two packs of baby carrots because... My husband will take these to work. My son loves them. They eat them like chips. And hey, I'm all about that. Hey, I didn't get my mandarins. Oh, I just realized that. Okay, moving on. Uh, I got uh, these kind of mushrooms. They're the Baby Bella mushrooms. I'm actually going to make two recipes from the Family Fudge's um, crock pot video that she just posted and one of them was like a beef stroganoff and she used these kind of mushrooms and so I thought maybe that would be good. Uh, need a red onion that's for one of the casseroles. Basil is for the lasagna that I'm gonna make. I got two chopped salads, an Asian and a Caesar. Um, if, I, if I made salad every single night with dinner my guys would eat it so I try really hard but it doesn't always happen um, but I like to have at least the Asian one on hand for me for lunch as I showed you guys the strawberries back there they're not in season so they're really really small but you know happens um, sour cream this is just the sour cream to have on hand for us to use um, to put on things like tacos and things like that half and half is for the soup uh, this was actually supposed to be like the regular kind of like the yellow cheese um, this says American white cheese, so I'm going to ask my husband what he wants to do, if he wants me to switch it out, um, but it was not supposed to be this. I have some mozzarella cheese back there, mostly for the lasagna. I have some potatoes back there, and I tried using some russet potatoes, and I really like red better, so I got a bag of red potatoes. I can use those for sides, and I also have a dinner where... Um, I cook some chicken in the crock pot and put it over potatoes. I have two things of egg noodles. One is for the stroganoff and one is for a noodle bake that I make as well. Uh, five things of mac and cheese because that's just my mom emergency mac and cheese. Uh, sour cream I kind of bought weirdly. I know this is really strange. I need, I had two different recipes where I needed these and I needed this much. I needed eight ounces. So I just got two eight ounce tubs. I think I got the Great Value brand and this might have been a substitution. I'd have to look though. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. And then I'm actually using cottage cheese in my lasagna instead of ricotta cheese. And we have some light brown sugar, and that is for a meatball recipe. That is also one of the family fudge recipes for the crock pot that I'm trying. Over here, so we have two things of Italian dressing, and this is just 
the Great Value brand Italian dressing. I use this for marinades and stuff. This is actually going to go in some chicken. And I know I only got one. I have no idea why I have two. But what can you do? Um, the Simply Orange Pulp Free Orange Juice is just something that we always get that we really like. Um, got three things of broccoli back there. It's hard to see them, but I got the frozen ones. That's just super convenient, pretty cheap. Also, um, the corn was actually for a meal too. It's for some Southwest, I want to say they're called Southwest, um, Southwest Wraps. They're called Southwest Wraps. Sorry, I could not remember that. Um, it's actually a new recipe that I was trying to use some ground beef I had. And so yeah, that is a new recipe I'll share with you guys. Um, got just regular meatballs, the bigger bags so we can use them for hopefully at least two meals, if not maybe like four. Lasagna noodles, Texas toast, and eggs, the stew meat right here is actually for the stroganoff and I did not realize how much stew meat was. This is only a little over a pound and it was $7.36. I was very surprised by that. Um, I got this uh, kind of shells and cheese and this is more for like dinners. The other mac and cheese I have is just kind of for lunches or just like a quick mom I'm hungry type of a thing but this is actually for like dinner sides. These canned goods are all for meals. This is for the Southwest Wraps. This is for the meatballs that I told you guys about. And this is for the stroganoff. It's cream of mushroom and chicken. These are something that just gets me by, guys. Oh my gosh. If you can't cook at all, you can cook these. I actually always make them in the microwave. But they're the Nor sides of rice. My husband loves the chicken one. Oh my gosh, loves it. Always has. Could eat it just for lunch by itself. And these things are a dollar always, if not a little bit cheaper. So I think I, I thought I got six of them, but maybe not. I know I got two cheddar and broccolis, and I know I got two chickens. I always get extra of these because a lot of times if I invite people over for dinner or something like that, um, we've kind of graduated to using two of them instead of one. Um, if I'm not eating and it's just my husband and my son, I'll just make one. Um, cause sometimes I won't eat like the starchy sides cause Lord knows I don't need it. So you know how that goes, mamas. Um, I think that is everything. I think I forgot to mention this basil. That is for the lasagna and I'm using a pioneer woman recipe for that too. But that is everything, and I need to check my receipt because I'm pretty sure that there's some things that I'm missing. I'll get back with y'all. Okay guys, so I checked my receipt. Apparently I did not order the mandarin oranges that I thought I ordered. Sorry if you can hear that they're taking out all the trash because I had to clean out my refrigerator. And yeah, so apparently I did not click something. I don't know, I'm sure this happens to everybody. But it's really frustrating. I did call Walmart because I wasn't happy with the bell peppers that I got and I didn't feel like those were a very good um, selection. And they basically told me to call back and gave me names of people. So I'm trying not to be bitter about it and trying to be super grateful for what I have, but it's kind of annoying. I don't know if I'm a grocery pickup kind of a girl. So <laughs> we'll see what happens, but on the up and up, my new total is 178 for all of that, and that includes about 14 meals. I still have to get a few different things that they were out of stock. They were out of stock for about five things that I needed, so I'm gonna have to get uh, those, and that will bring my total back up. But I still thought for two weeks worth of groceries, plus like lunches and all that, I thought that was really good. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next brand new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.